right. So here's what I'm gonna say that I don't think a lot of people seem to understand that what you're dealing with on in the current left is something that you need to approach as if you're approaching a religious a religious extremist. Fundamental religious extremist. That's what you need to you need to approach it like this. Because it really is you need to like it's a goddamn holy war. Because this is a this is a sect of people, a large sect that have no that has no problem whether you live or die. They have no problem with it. That's what cancellation. I've said that before. I agree with Stefan Molyneux when he says that cancel culture is the precursor to, to, to genocide. Absolutely. These people don't care if you make a living. They don't care if you work. They don't care if you do nothing. They don't care. When you have and the people that participate in these in, in this are religious fundamentalists or religious extremists. They don't care that the people that are uh, the, the the priest is the be it whatever whatever official. They don't care that Nancy Pelosi broke her own coronavirus. They, they don't care. That's what people do. Let's be honest here. That is what people do in a hardcore fundamentalist uh, 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 religious uh, uh, fundamentalist religious sect. That's what you do. You don't care that your priest or the people that are handing down the rules are breaking the rules themselves. You don't care. And these people do not care. They they will sit back and say, since like I've said before, Donald Trump is president, uh, uh, Donald Trump is Satan. And it's really any, any Republican. Anything good that happened in Florida or, or wherever, whatever state it was, it was because of whatever Democrat left-leaning, uh, 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 whatever whatever Democrat uh, person uh, official, that was the only reason. Anything bad, even if direct, even if Trump had no just nothing, when it came to Andrew Cuomo, there were people blaming Trump for what what he what Andrew Cuomo did, as far as putting the elderly back in the retirement home. There was people that blamed Trump for that. Oh no, that was Trump's fault. It's the devil's fault. The devil did it anything good so the way people need to under that the, the way the the current people that are that are fighting against this this leftism that that we have right now you have to approach it like you would approach any other re extremist re uh, 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 re religious sect you would have to and they have just as hardcore followers as those religious sex, uh, 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 sex do. That's how hardcore they are with it. So maybe that will maybe maybe if you approach it like this, you'll have people uh, on the on the on the, on the uh, not religious right the uh, the right or people that are pushing against this that will actually not give a crap that these that, that if anyone likes them or something like that. Like Liz Cheney, Liz Cheney, Liz Cheney, trying to trying to kowtow to these people that will never vote for her anyway. They're not going to vote for her. She can she can get out of this whatever she's doing right now. In fighting against the the, the absolute con the, uh, conservatives, and not one Democrat will vote for her. They will try to get her out of office tomorrow, yesterday. So I don't understand why the why there's so many Republicans that are so worried about uh, uh, trying to see if a if a if a Democrat's gonna like them. They aren't gonna like you. They can't stand you. They want you out of office. You were a freaking tool for them. Comment, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.